never as you are not the holy spirit <laughs> and you are not god that you want to change someone you have individual makeup hi hello welcome back to my channel this is Esther hello okay and today i'll be talking about mistakes that you shouldn't make in a relationship mistakes are tricky things that happen in a relationship that can't be ruled out of any relationship it is always okay to make mistakes in a relationship but it is another thing for the two partner in the relationship to work hand in hand it to overcome such mistakes if you are lucky in a relationship you could recognize the red flag the yellow flag or the green flag to help you move your relationship to the next step mistakes if ignored or uncorrected can spoil the happily ever married ever after so we need to actually understand the mistake we shouldn't make or we should try to correct in a relationship like i said earlier it is not something so bad making mistakes in a relationship it is something we are all learning to develop relationships so if you are lagging behind or having one or two of what i'm about today you don't need to feel sad you don't need to feel disappointed in yourself or you just need to work out those things relationship you need to recognize when and how you can improve such mistakes in your relationship so the first one i'll be talking on today is saying nothing is wrong actually when a lot of things is wrong like some, he has seen the official expression that it seems something is not going well or he give you a call on the phone and you are sounding somehow and it was like what is wrong you are like there is nothing wrong or he is saying there is nothing wrong where you can actually feel it that something is wrong it's just like this that you can't say out can actually cause an havoc in that relationship I said in most of my videos communication is very vital in a relationship even confessing your love to each other needs active communication, correct listening, correct interpretation. That if there's anything wrong with your partner, you don't like something he is doing, and you need to correct it, you need to say it out. No, not saying nothing is wrong. When you stoop it under the rug today, you stoop it under the rug tomorrow, those issues will end up reoccurring again. And when you are unable to solve issues as they come up, relationship might eat the rug. So you need to actually settle every mistakes potholes in your relationship as you go along not leaving the potholes at the bar because you are still going to meet them again if you leave them without clearing the road at that instant what i'm talking about is reacting on emotion a lot of we are emotional beings especially we ladies we we get so emotions about things when you see anything try to calm down before reacting you don't actually need to react instantly because most of what we imagine most of what we 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 react on is due to emotion and is due on assumption if you can actually keep calm and think about it twice you would know the right thing to say and the right thing to work another one i'll be sharing today is keeping scores in your relationship like one one ah no problem one 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 apart from the joking part of it like you are just making jest of each other you shouldn't keep scores of offenses scores of mistakes if you'll be going a long way in your relationship ending to marriage and growing to become a good couple a better one so you need not actually to keep score when he said he's sorry take his sorry accept apology don't hold grudges don't write <laughs> numbers of the offenses he has committed or it is when he now says that this is happening then you remind him of what he has actually apologized on and you are reminding him of all his faults you are reminding him of all the mistakes he has made when he has actually apologized to you on such things you need to stop comparing your partner to your ex i've said this and i'm going to say it again comparing your partner normally humanly speaking when something has reoccurred in your life when the thing is trying to bring the same pattern like this thing is becoming a pattern but this should be avoided in a relationship don't ever compare your ex to your current partner. They are different individuals. For example, when your ex was, was trying to end the relationship, he's not picking up his call like before. So this your present partner also had some work engagement and not picking calls like when you just started the relationship. Then you begin to assume, oh, he has want to end this relationship or he's no more interested in this relationship. Ask him and hear his own point of view not the reason why he's not actually doing what he has been doing how he has not been picking his score discuss it and trash it out holding back your love there is nothing like love i'm showing is too much 
yes, you might want to hold back a lot at the onset of the relationship, you know, because you are getting to know each other. You want to know if you can give your all in that relationship. You want to know if you can totally love this person. But when you see that this relationship has really grown, we have grown together to know ourselves, you don't need to hold back your love. A lot of guys does this. A lot of ladies also does it. That I don't want to show too much of my soul. She won't take me for granted. You don't need to hold back your love as a guy. As a lady, you don't need to hold back your love. You need to give your all to your partner. Don't expect that the rate of what you can actually do to your partner, he or she should also reciprocate. They might not be able to express love as you can. So give your all in your relationship. Very soon on this channel, I'll be talking about love language and how we can boost our love with love language. Stay tuned and please. Turn on the notification bell if you have not subscribed to this channel. Try to, to break up. When there's any hush in your relationship, you just stress to break up. You are telling your partner, I love you to eternity. I love you from, to the moon and back. I love you whatsoever what happened. I still love you. And any little misunderstanding you begin to tell that person, I'll break up with you. You don't need to threaten your partner on break up. This one day when you begin to threaten the person, the person will get tired of it and just accept that, please, let's break up. Because you are putting the other partner in pressure of breaking up you are threatening that person which is not good if you claim you love someone you need to actually not threaten them of breaking up assuming that you can change your partner never as you are not the only spirit <laughs> and you are not god that you want to change someone the person we have individual makeup a lot of people have been made up their father gene is in them, their mother gene is in them, their generational gene is in them. So you, you can actually go and change their DNA or change their gene because you are their spouse or you are in love with them. As this misconception of compromising in a relationship is different from change in a relationship. Change is totally changing someone from who the person was. Why compromising is two of you reaching agreements of your differences, like coming this person is the guy, the, the lady coming together in between to accept, okay, I don't take hot food or you take cold food, then we're coming to a compromise of taking warm food because we want to come to compromise, not changing the person that you must start taking cold food or you must start taking hot food. So there is room for compromising in our relationship and in a relationship where there is love, we tend to compromise a lot of things for each other so we can go a long way. We can reach our height in that relationship but not change. That's all for today. Thank you for listening to this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And share your family and friends and please subscribe to this channel. And if you are subscribed and yet to turn on your notification bell, kindly turn on your notification bell so you get notified whenever I drop a new video on this channel. Thank you. Bye.